Next tool I want to show you guys is the uh, the coping saw. Very versatile, um, versatile saw. If you want to know why it's called a coping saw, get on the internet and type in coping um, coping joint wood joint C O P I N G. Um, anyway, when you are uh, working with some kinds of moldings, crown moldings, and so forth, and you have to cut the um, molding to fit the profile you're actually coping it so anyway this is a coping saw um, and I'm just going to actually go ahead and cut a little curve so you really should always have a line laid out so I've got a, a line to follow and I've got my bar clamp on the table and let's go ahead and cut that off with the coping saw now you're just basically going to follow the line the coping saw actually cuts on the uh, the pull stroke so when you pull up it's doing most of its cutting don't, don't force the coping saw because uh, you will uh, break the blade. Now we're gonna, we might get ourselves into a little situation right here that I'll show you how you can correct. It's really better if you kind of go hold it like I'm holding it the downward um, rotation or a downward motion here. But if you need to, you can kind of try to hold it like that as well. We can get a little shorter bursts. Now, when we get around over here, I think we're going to hit the table. Or the workbench, I should say. Okay, yes I am. What you can do on the coping saw, now let's carefully follow our cut out, try not to bend the saw too much, is you can actually adjust this. Okay, if you loosen the handle a little bit, you can actually turn these tabs right here, now turn them evenly, and we can actually move um, the blade. So now what I've done, let me get that lined up again, and now retighten the handle, is now I'm going to be cutting like this. Okay, and notice that the frame of the coping saw now is out of the way and it's not hitting the workbench. So I just actually just turned, turned the blade. I like to blow the uh, sawdust off of the workpiece from time to time so I can actually see what I'm cutting. Nice and easy and voila, there we have our cut. Alright, now since I still have this, let me adjust this a little bit. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys, it's not really long enough, let's see if I can clamp it here on the edge of the table. I'm going to show you guys how to use the hand saw since we're uh, we're already here and actually I'll, I'll do that in another video for you thanks for watching coping saw